welcome. How are you doing? It's super cold. <laughs> like, really, really cold. Uh, we're linking to Facebook, linking to our Facebook group. We're live in the app, and we're live on Poshmark right now. Instagram's almost... Hello, how are you doing, Miss Rebecca? Welcome, welcome. We're not doing any music today because we're, like, multi-streaming. And Instagram and Facebook absolutely despise the fact that we play music. They will take us down. Um, if you are watching on Poshmark, it's also against the TOS for you to play music in your background. Um, and so if you didn't know that, uh, you should read your terms and services uh, because you don't own the rights to play the music that you could be playing during your shows. So, FYI, um, I'm doing pretty good too. I'm going to get everything pulled up over here. Let me get this jacket off. It's like super duper cold here in Oklahoma. Uh, I don't even know how cold it is. All I know is that it is cold. It is... 31 degrees, but I think since it's gotten so cold that I'm just like used to it being cold at this point and I don't know. I just kind of feel like uh, like it's that time of the year where it's just like It's in your bones Like I'm pretty warm-blooded, but At some point or another I feel like um, You like the scarf? Yeah, well it goes good with this this the suit underneath here uh, you're freezing in Tennessee. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, it's very cold. Yes, we. I, I'm fine with cold, but, you know, it kind of gets annoying after a while. It makes me angry. And it makes my back and my neck hurt because I have previous injuries. So, um, again, there won't be any music today. So, if you don't like the music, then this will be your type of show. Hopefully, everybody is doing pretty good. Um, I, this morning I got here and added some beautiful, um, bags to the collection. I, I added, oh lordy, I've added so much in the last week or so, y'all. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, um, the amount of work that I put into just getting us all new bags and, uh, getting everything ready after Christmas and, you know, just kind of getting ready for the rest of the, you know, the beginning of the year. I feel like the beginning of the years are always so much more fun uh, because you kind of get to pick, you know, what you're going to source and what you're going to sell for the beginning of the year. And it can be very important um, depending on what you're going to get and like what kind of customers, what, what customers are wanting, what they're getting. It can be very hard uh, to source for people at the beginning of the year. So anyway, if there is somebody that's watching that's looking for something specific, uh, whether you're either on Facebook or Instagram or if you're in the app or if you're on Poshmark, if you are... You know, somebody that's established customer with me. Look, y'all, I've been selling for the last 15, 20 years now. So I've got people that are literally in Oklahoma City that might have bought a car or a, a, a house or maybe, um, you know, a, a, a sofa from me. And all of a sudden they decide that they want to start uh, buying or they want a the Christian Dior bag or something. And so uh, I am multi-streaming. So if you see me talking to more of a broader audience than just Poshmark, that is the reason why. And so this will be recorded and then you'll be able to go back and watch it on my app, which is Luxury Live app, um, it, just back there. So anyway, uh, anyway, let's see. Oh, you're in, you're in 70 degrees in Georgia? Oh Lord, that must be nice. I wish I was that um, warm right now. Now, I put kind of a mixture of the new stuff versus the old stuff. Welcome. Hello. Uh, we're just kind of chatting uh, before the show. So, hi. Welcome. Uh, I am multi-streaming on Facebook, Instagram, my app, uh, and my group. I have a Facebook group that's got like 4,000 people in it, y'all, that I've just created for and accumulated people over the years. And so, uh, I sent out today emails. I sent out notifications. Sent out all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that we could get people here that are buyers and past buyers and, uh, you know, kind of like-minded people and such. So, uh, lots of broadcasting has gone off for this show. If we get some trolls in the chat, then uh, you'll have to, you know, uh, uh, report them or mute them. We do have a mod in the chat. Uh, you are also among friends. So, there will be people there that have bought from me before. Uh, people that know me, and uh, however they know me in the community. And so, uh, anyway, um, I just want to say hello. Hi, Miss Judy. How you doing? Um, how do you report that? 
uh, oh, uh, well, uh, you would report them by going to their closet and going up into the three dots. If you find somebody that, uh, I have someone in my app asking uh, how you report people on Poshmark <laughs> for selling fake items. Uh, there is a, a little thing at the very top of their closet where you'll click and then you can report their closet for selling items that are not to be sold. And so, yes, uh, Elliot's mod there. Uh, that is my mod there. Uh, if you have any interest uh, in, you know, if I'm not, you know, speaking to you or if I can't get to your question or something, uh, we're both here to assist. And so uh, this Diana bag, I just added this one. This one's super cute. Here, let me add this one uh, down below. Okay, so this is gorgeous. It is a, a Gucci uh, Diana bag, which was made very famous from that of uh, L Lady Diana, uh, L uh, 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 Princess Diana. Uh, and this bag back here, uh, Crocodile, as well, is going to be another uh, bag that was very popular and made popular by her. Now, I've, I've already got that back here, and I've got several Dior's back here. If you're interested in a Dior, uh, I do have a, a Christian Dior back here, if you have any interest. Uh, but this one is very, very nice. The photos are also down below if you have any interest. If you're in app, they're going to be up here. If you've never used my app before, you'll just click the photo. And then if you click the text where the text is and scroll up, you'll be able to look through the photos and click the photos and zoom in and all that stuff too. Um, so uh, if you uh, need financing and you're watching in app, whether you're watching now or it's a replay, you can get financing at Elliot's Luxury. If you're watching on Poshmark, you can also get financing because all of my items are listed in my closet. So if you are seeing this and it's like, look, man, I, it's the beginning of the year. I don't really have $1,300. That's completely fine. Uh, you can split this payments up and you still get the item. It's not like layaway or anything like that. So anyway, uh, if you see anything like that here on the app, just uh, message me and uh, or m my model messaged me and then I can get rid of them. I have uh, sole control over you know who comes in my app and, and all that stuff. So we can literally block IPs in my app. So, uh, But this one, literally, uh, these normally are sticky, icky, new, blah, in the inside. Um, this is not... This is not the case with this one at all. This one's in really, really great shape. It has suede interior. Normally they're peely and icky and just nasty, grody. I've sold several of them at $3 auctions right here, uh, odd Poshmark, just on the other side of this wall. And I'm pretty sure before we even came to the new studio, we were selling them. It's just they were normally in black and the interior is normally rotted and it is sticky. It is a disgusting mess. And when you go to interior, I mean, when you go to replace the interior, it is very hard to get an authenticity certificate for this bag when the interior is replaced. Same thing with some of those Chanel's back there. So some of the Chanel bags that you might see and come across, it says the interior has been replaced. Well, if the interior has been replaced and there's not a cereal, a high row, and there's not a stamping of a, a, a you know Chanel or made in France or made in Italy or whatever, in the interior of the bag like it should be for that particular model, it can be deemed not authentic because it can't be authenticated because the interior has been replaced and it is minus or without so many of its pieces that make it authentic, if that, get, if you, if that makes sense to you, okay? So a certain percentage of this bag is real, but then there are, are other percentages that might not be real. So for instance, I ordered two Chanel, gorgeous Chanel's in that I was gonna redo for you and try to resell. Well, they didn't pass authenticity, and I didn't even show them to you. I just sent them back because they don't pass authenticity. Now, all of my items back here will pass authenticity, um, even after I have rehabbed them. So these are the things to consider when you buy from me and just anyone in the luxury industry. Um, when you go to rehab items, sometimes you can take the authenticity, authenticity of them away. So the reason why I mention that is because this is one of those bags that the interior deteriorates. And if you replace that, it's a key component to identify it at a micro level that this is real. That's why it's important. And this one has the original interior. So anyway, it's so pretty though. Oh my God, look how gorgeous it is. Now there are, there are minor flaws and I did photograph them. I did photograph them appropriately. There are a couple of minor uh, markings, very minor, but they're there. So we have to talk about them. They're very minor. Again, I, I mean, we're about, you know, maybe a foot away. 
if you were this far away from me, I don't think you would be able to tell. Like, they're going to be so envious of you uh, that I highly doubt that they're going to be getting close to you. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. So there, we just had to talk about them. This bag is, you know, 20 plus years old. So it, it's going to have some flaws. So anyway, if you're interested in it, um, I'm going to run it. Uh, I'm just going to do a buy it now real quickly uh, down there for 12 dollars uh, down there at the below of the app. If somebody's interested, I'm going to give you a, a one and a two and a three and a four and a five, and I'm going to take it off of there because I assume if you're interested, you probably would buy it. Uh, if you're in app, then you'll be able to buy it uh, just right up there because at this point, no one has bought it on Poshmark. If somebody does buy it, then I'll have to take it out of my inventory. Okay, so we're going to put that one back, and I'm going to untag that one from the app so we'll clear the overlay. Okay, now that should disappear for us. Yes. Okay, fabulous. Now, let's see what Elevag. Yeah, it's big. It's That's what she said. But yeah, it's big. Uh, let's see. And then I have... Um, where are my Murakamis? My Murakamis. Okay, so these... I just added these... Literally just added these this morning. I did have a young lady that said that if I sourced her one of these, that she would buy this bag. And I don't remember who that was. Um, but it was last week. And as she was a regular. But I don't remember exactly. There are quite a few of you that I'm certainly appreciative of. So uh, I, you just have to tell me uh, <laughs> who it was. I, I don't remember who it was. So hopefully they pop back in because these are a pretty good match. Uh, this one, I told her I would do $34.95. And I told her if she wanted it, I would give her this. Just putting that up. So think about it. I just sold one of these for $34.95 in the same color condition model. No scratches on the gold hardware that are major and significant or anything like that for $34.95. And that's within two or three weeks ago comps. So if you're interested, think about it. Financing is available. If you still want to do that, I would still include this. Uh, if you buy on Poshmark, it's going to go through Poshmark authentication. This will be in the box. We will have a recording that this is to go with you as well as a free gift uh, or a combo for the two that we negotiated during the show. So you just might need to think about that. So think about it. Think about it. Um, but she said, hey, she was wheeling and dealing that night. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I told her I had it coming. And so I'm like, okay, well, whatever you want to do. This one uh is in pretty good shape now both of these uh sold already <laughs> both of them are gone and i ordered this one to, to go with that other one um and this one's 629 i think let's see no 695 let's see if i can find it here it is in the app so it should be popping up in the app just right there and then I uh, will put this, uh, if you go look at the photos, all of my items are photographed basically like they're real estate listings. Every single one of them. So I figure if you can sell a half a million dollar house with 36 photos, uh, as sight unseen during COVID, you could probably sell a wallet uh, that's $695 with about 23 photos as uh, sight unseen. So I could show this to you and take up five or 10 minutes of our time, or you could go look at the photos uh, and then tell us that you want to buy it. And I'll, you can go buy it in our closet. Uh, or I'm just going to do a buy it now here. I'm just going to count to five. And if you're going to buy it, then you buy it. Um, so and people in the app are looking at it right now. And I haven't heard a cha-ching. Uh, so that means no one has bought it just yet. That may change after the show. Uh, people, people buy it. Plenty of people buy after the show. So like people are watching, having dinner right now. And then they come back to the show and see if something's available. So if that's available, if that's something that you want to do too, that's something that you could consider as well. So, All right, hold on. I'm going to put it on there right now for six, nine, five. I'll buy it now. I'm going to count to one. A two, a three, a four, and a five. And I'm going to take it off. No, there's not a, a limit. It's just that I split up all my photos in, like, categories and, like, catalogs. 
And so, uh, if you look at the photos, like, my photos have, like, four or five shots of the photos. I think 15, though, is the limit. Yeah. Which is hard to sell luxury, I feel like. Because there's so many different pockets in these wallets. Like, I mean, for real, though. Like, you're supposed to get, like, all the condition. Like, all the condition. All of it? In, like, 15 photos for this wallet? Like, there's, like, five pockets. <laughs> Just, I mean, like, what if you forgot, like, there was a booger or something in one, and then someone got unhappy because there was a booger? You know, I mean, and then all of a sudden you have an unhappy customer, right? Like, I mean, you have to have a bunch of photos. Like, I just feel like, like, what if you didn't know that the zipper looked like that, you know? Like, <laughs> uh, but it's the risk that you take, right? That's, you know, some of the convenience of shopping live, right? You don't really have to look at all the details. You just hit the button. So if you're interested in this one, uh, it's not just, a, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And so, and if you want to finance it, you can do that too. So that's why I put all this in the closet. We do have customers that do finance. Um, and so there's definitely no, no shame. I don't, I do not care how you buy. We take, we take a money, okay? Um, some of my best buyers are actually ones that finance. So they are very faithful. Um, okay, so I'm going to take that one up off of uh, the very top of the screen. That black one is a little bit higher. It is a little bit higher. I guess I could show you the black one. I don't know why I'm so anxious to hide it. Here, hold on. If somebody buys it, somebody buys it. Uh, this is a zippy, by the way. Uh, this is the same model as the other one. It's in better condition than the white one. Uh, just FYI. Here, let me put the white one up there really quickly. Oh. Um, I could do date codes, but I really don't have any interest in doing date codes. There's really no reason to do date codes. Date codes are a waste of time. Buyers generally don't ask date codes. So, um, and then here's the exterior, the corners. Yeah, my mod's talking about it right now. It's like, we don't really do date codes. It's something that commonly that we're resellers like to try to slow down the host. Um, and if I were brand new, I would waste my time to do that, but I'm not new. Um, and most of my buyers could care less. They don't even know where to find the day code even if they wanted to. So, <laughs> that's why I just kind of avoid it. Okay, so here's that. Oh, you have an offer on the website? Oh, okay, hold on just a second. I'll look at that in just a second. Um, here's that one. Um, and uh, another thing about date codes is you can damage the product just searching for a date code. Um, so please keep that in mind. Okay, now here's the sides. It's in really, really good shape. This one's in much better shape than the other one, but there is just a tiny bit of wear of loss of color and loss of color. And that's it. So, other than that... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me. There's one more pocket. I didn't show you the corny area. Here, hold on. Here's the corny area. Right there. And I do have my little wand over here. Oops. It's completely charged. So there's the interior. Now we have, now I have my old school wand like I used to have. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put this one back and then let's see what I have. Oh, I'm gonna run this one for just a second on this one, buy it now. And this one is, the zippy is in really good shape. Here's the sides of it. It is that bright, bright, bright pink. It's like a fuchsia color almost. It's so pink. And then here is your zippy. Um, you, you can at least listen to it with no music. You can actually hear it. I love that. 
Yeah, and if you are a buyer, all you got to say is, hey, I made an offer on something or, hey, I'd like to buy something. That's generally how we identify buyers. If you do want to ask a question about a bag, I'm happy to answer it. We just don't do day codes during live shows. Okay, so let's go see what the offer is. We do have an offer. Let me clear this. Off of our app real quickly. Okay, overlay clear. Okay, so we do have an offer on the app right now. If you'd like to submit an offer and you're on Poshmark, um, you can do that by going to the closet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this. So whoever this is, uh, I don't wanna release your name, uh, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that and then you'll get an email of acceptance. And then when you pay, I'll remove it off of Poshmark. Okay, um, all right, so let's go next to something else. All right, so uh, let's talk about our Gucci, uh, Gucci Isma, the pale one. The, well, it's kind of a blush color. I have this in two. I have this in two different styles. Uh, same color. Both are in the closet. This one is in the tray now. Uh, but it, this one's not in the tray. <laughs> Sorry. Um, not, not, not this time, but this is a very nice Suki bag, uh, gold hardware, and it is very, very nice. These are the same color. Now the other one is not a two way. This one is a two way, clearly, uh, that gorgeous chain here. I also have this Suki bag in another style. It's canvas and red. So if you're, you're not a blush kind of gal. This one is gorgeous. Jesus Christ, this is huge. Um, Tad gum. Like, uh, look at the sides. Now, if you push this in a little bit, it'll be a little bit more unified. And then here's the other side. Now, the glazing is in really great shape, as you can see. Here, let me post this one on the app, and then let me post it. Let me post it up there so y'all can take a look at it. Here, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm putting this down there. And then, that this should be popping up on the app in here just a second. And then on Poshmark. Now, I didn't take a picture. I didn't take photos of it long ways, like this. I figured I could model it for you. And then you can see how it, you know, uh, models on the body. Now, I am five foot seven. I wear a 36 short, so there's plenty of clothing uh, resellers and plenty of just people that wear clothes and uh, women that have sons and stuff in here. Looks like the horsies have come out. Oh, one of the babies is out there eating. If you've never watched my show before, um, then you've probably never seen. Uh, I live in a very populous area, but there's a farm that has been here forever and ever and ever. And the city, the city kind of stretch uh, around the farm. And they're the only people that I know that have enough acreage to have two, three horses in the middle of the city. <laughs> Midtown Tulsa. And they have horses. Uh, so uh, they're fun to look at during the show. This one is stunning. I really do love this particular purse. Like, I feel like this is a, a keeper. Like, this is like that Lexus, that white Lexus where you just keep her for a long while. Completed the purchase. Okay, I'll remove it. Now, everything that I have, y'all, is cross-posted. Uh, so if you are, you know, interested in buying something, then uh, I'll have to remove it off of one platform when it sells. So FYI. And congratulations uh, to the buyer. I did get your order. Thank you. Okay, so we deleted that off of Poshmark.
Okay. Now it should delete all flash memory. Hold on. Hold on. We do not like to let it uh let it just sit available. If it uh, sails, so hold on. I would hate to be the person that buys something that is not available. It's really annoying on Poshmark. So when I go to Poshmark, I always, if I'm gonna make an offer on an account, somebody I've never done business with before, I always try to go and see how active they've been. And when their last, you know, item was sold. Cause if not, you really have no idea whether or not they're gonna ship the item or not. And whether or not your money's gonna be tied up. Cause I've had my money tied up before, unfortunately. It happens. Okay. All right, I changed it now, we're good to go. I just changed the listing. I think uh, this one had pending offers on it. Nobody, nobody pulled the trigger on it. Okay, we're good to go now. Okay, so let's talk about this again. This one has a horse bit front with a flap, okay? A horse bit front and flap, and I'll show you your Alexander Wang in just a second. Uh, here's the interior of this one. Look how clean it is. I don't see any pin markings or anything like that. It does have a pretty nice glazing. Look at that glazing. Ooh, like I like the glazing. The glazing is gorgeous. Like I figured the glazing would be all messed up when I got this. But I did do a little bit of repair to it, but but not much. Um, so anyway, the dimensions on this one are 14 by 9 by 5 with 11 by 21. So 11 inches right here. 11 inch drop. This is perfect manager swing. So you walk into the restaurant. No, I don't have reservations. Uh, my reservations actually were to come into this re this uh, restaurant because it looks uh, questionable. Uh, but uh, do you have a place for me to sit while I'm still interested or not? Because that was really the only reservations that I had here. Uh, is the bar open? Hello, welcome. Uh, because those were really the only reservations I was having. Uh, now here's the crossbody Audi. So if you're a, a, a slender gal, okay, last night I remember being in a live and, and, uh, uh, this little, little tiny small girl was showing this purse and she's like, this is just normal. Oh my God, I can carry this as a crossbody. And I'm thinking, girl, not everybody is the size of you. Okay. Um, uh, like me, I, I, my rack is really not that big. I, I really don't have that large of a rack. If you've ever seen, I'm just kind of flat chested. It's the way I was born. Uh, and so that being said, uh, you know, you can make this a titty splitter if you'd like, just go right between the titties. Or if you'd like, uh, if you're kind of a well endowed girl up there, this is probably not going to be a crossbody Audi for you. This is going to be more of a shoulder purse. This here. Okay. And over here, this is going to be a, just a shoulder purse for you. Okay. So just want to let you know that, etc. Uh, so anyway, I just, yeah, you know, we got to keep an all in mind that all shapes and sizes. That's why I love this bag because I feel like for my plus size girls, girl, if you had a, let me go get my jacket. One moment. Let, let me just, let me just get my jacket. First of all, first of all, first of all, okay. First of all, uh, you cannot tell me that this does not look good. Okay, this, even the color scheme does match. Like, the color scheme does match. Oh, my Lord. Okay, ho hold up. Ho ho hold my bag. Ho hold my bag. Look. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Cannot tell me. Look at this. 
Ooh. Oh, and then the other day, oh, the other day, I saw some, ooh, I saw some plus size model. Some plus size model. She was modeling on uh, on the Instagrammies. And she was, she was trying to get a Grammy. She was, she was trying to get a Grammy on the Instagrammies. And she was doing this. Hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. She was doing this. She was doing, she was doing one of these. Hold up, hold up. I gotta get there. I gotta get there. I got production. I don't have a production crew yet. I, I don't. I don't. I need one. I really need a production crew. And she was doing this. She was doing one of these. She was like, eat it. Yes. <clears throat> Where do I sit? You said we're going to steak tonight? Okay, well, hold the door open for me, girl. Where do I sit? That's what she was doing. I was like, oh, girl. She is serving us that purse right now. She's serving it on a platter, girl, medium rare, making us bleed all over the plate, honey. I was like, oh, my Lord. As long as it comes with a bread, a bread bowl, I'm good to go. But you get my drift? Look, this is how you work this bag, honey. Work it. Make them eat it. Be like, ooh. And then be like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. What up? Mic drop on that one. That is a hot-ass bag. And you can buy this uh, hot ass bag for $1,695 or best offer. Bread and butter, honey, uh, with, a, with, with a salad bowl. <laughs> but look how pretty this is, though, for real. Ooh, no jokes aside. She is gorgeous. Uh, she's got a couple pockets on the inside, like a fabric linen interior. So if you're interested, think about it. Uh, it's a 14 by 9 by 5 with 11 by 21 inch drop. Think about it. Think about it. She'll be sitting here waiting for you. I will summon her again for you. I feel so, feel so luscious like this. I'll, I'll go take it off though. I'm sorry. I spent a shitload of money on this jacket back when I came into a, a little bit of money a bazillion years ago. It was with my lawyer, actually. We had actually landed a really good case and he was like, let's go suit shopping. It's like, that's what I love to do when we win a really good case. I like to go shoot shopping. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. I think I've got, the only suit I had on at the time was the one I own. And I'm thinking, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to afford anything in this place. And he takes us to this custom suit place, right? And I, I left that day with a custom suit and that jacket and shit, I think a pair of shoes and something else. Uh, it happened. It worked for me. It did. You gotta look good. You gotta be looking good. You be selling shit around here, you know? Uh, it don't sell itself sometimes. Okay, so let's see if we can tag anybody else that's in here. And I'm gonna take a drink of a little will to live, cause... Okay, so let's go back to the app here and catch the app up to everything else that's going on. Okay, so I just got this new Chanel in. This new Chanel is like a butter cream kinda chocolatey wonderness and she's kind of a big girl uh for those large and in charge queens she's silver hardware and she's kind of an accordion flap bag if you've seen the accordion chanel's that i've brought y'all normally they're the pink linen ones this one is a full leather and it's large because, uh, you know, I know my girls like large purse. I like a big purse. So if you are a somebody that likes a big purse, no shame around here. Uh, even if you don't fill it up, you just pack that sucker with paper, honey. They don't, they don't need to know that you don't really, uh, they don't need to know that you ain't using all of your purse. You got rooms uh, you never used before. Uh, places for, you know, husbands, things that you had met before. Uh, you know, that's why I like to think about it. You just keep your options open. You never know whose shit you're going to have to carry around next, you know, especially if he's handsome. Uh, that's all I'm saying. It's like, can you hold that? Yeah, well, shit, yeah, I'll hold it. Uh, oh, you, oh, you meant that. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, uh, you know, you kind of get my drafts. I always like to keep a big purse. You start keeping your options open, you know? She's very movie. She makes a lot of noise, you know? Um, so, let's see. Somebody was asking about the burgundy bag. Uh, uh on the books. Oh, the burgundy one. Uh, this is a, uh, a YSL. Oh, and, um, here, here's the Jimmy, or the, 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 uh, Alexander Wang. This is a little dressy girl. Uh, she was purchased. Um, I'm sorry that you didn't get the opportunity to buy her quicker. Um, but I did give her about 72 hours on Poshmark. Uh, so congratulations. She's not missing a damn, 
a damn rhinestone or anything. So she's adorable. It's Alexander Wang. It's, she's a small wang, but honey, she shines bright like a diamond. So never underestimate the size of the wang, honey. It's all about the motion of the ocean and the... That's for another another time, though. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's put her aside. Now, this one is going to be a little, a little wire cell. Just a little bitty one. Just a little pinch of a wire cell. And if you, is this, this one's not big enough for you and your uh, life, then I do have a larger one. You're in luck. I do have a larger one. I have a larger uh, sister. I saw this in like brown and gray and black and and all kinds of sizes. Uh, she's a kind of, you know, bossy lady. Uh, she walks in and says, I like my coffee black. Uh, and, um, you know, don't, don't waste too much of my time. Uh, she's got feet. She does. In case you ain't got two of your own or uh, need five. She's got a couple. And then over here, there's no feet. I'm sorry. She's just so small. You shouldn't set her down. You should just hold her with all your will to live because it's gorgeous. Uh, now, you could lock this one if you want to. The chain is removable, so you could use it as a clutch. Just only a clutch if you want to. Um, so this one is listed, though, if you have any interest. Um, okay. Bye. Have a good evening. Uh, and then this one also is in the closet as well. So if you're interested in either one of these, uh, this one is expensive. Uh, there's somebody that always asks, uh, always makes me an offer for $500 on this on Poshmark. And I just kindly, respectfully decline each time. Um, and so it's very sweet. Uh, just because it's small doesn't mean it's cheap. Uh, so uh, this one here is going to be more your uh, style, but uh, price range, but it's not cheap either. Uh, this one is $1,895, mainly because she's the color that she is. Uh, and she's in really, 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 really good shape. Uh, same thing goes with this bag. Um, so if it was a white leather bag and it was effed up and the zipper didn't work and it was missing the chain, I might sell it for $500. Uh, but one like this, not going to happen for $500. Not here in the Luxury Live Studio. So if you're interested in this, I would take something around $1,200, uh, maybe $1,100, something like that. But you got to come up. Um, so these are the, the things that we have to deal with on Poshmark when we are losing 20% of every $100 that we sell on here. So please do keep that in mind, y'all, when you are shopping Poshmark, that literally every seller here, especially as me of me, is literally losing 20% of everything that I show you. Poshmark is not made for businesses. They're made for people that are selling out of their home, in a room, or out of their closet. This is not my closet. This is a business. So please do keep that in mind when you're shopping with me. Um, now this one, uh, I will put back, but it is listed on the app. And it is listed uh, on my website and listed on Poshmark already. So, uh, but yeah, that's this one right here. Very, very nice. Uh, okay, so this one. Okay, so I've got it posted down below. And I've also got it posted up on top of the app. If you're interested in taking a look. Um, I'll run this one uh, and just do one, two, three, four, five. And see if somebody's interested in picking up and buy it now. So please, if you buy it now... You have three ounce, three hours to cancel. I'm pretty sure. If I don't, if I auction it for a dollar less or even the price, you don't have a cancellation. It's it's binding. Okay, hi there, welcome. Okay, ready? Here we go. I'm gonna put that on there real quick. Uh, and then a one, two, three, four, five, and that's it. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm taking it off now. Okay, if you are interested in this, you can make me an offer on the app or you can make me an offer in the closet. So, FYI. Uh, it does transform two-way. So, it does have a little bit of a longer drop if you want. It also is an accordion. So, let me show you the accordion. Then I'm going to put it back and I'm going to grab you another item. Here is this one. So, a little bit of an accordion. Bloop! Bloop! Uh, the corners are very, very nice. It's an ivory piping. Look at those feet. Mmm. It's nice. Okay. If you're in the market for her, you like her silhouette, you think she'd make a good addition to your collection, uh, you know that this one, I really do like this one. This is a turn lock. Two nine nine five. Uh, if you wanted to make me an offer north of, you know, 2400, I would consider it. Um, she's not been with me very long, so you know, you know me, I get kind of attached to my baby. So the longer they sit here, sometimes the prices go up. Sometimes I just take them off the market. 
Um, so it just really kind of depends on my mood. Uh, now this one is a navy blue. A navy blue girl. Uh, navy blue. Let me see if I can pull this one up really quickly for you in the app. All right, and then I'll do the same for you in Poshmarks. Uh, okay, it should be popping up there in the app just above. Now, if you're just now catching this show, folks, uh, not to worry. Uh, if you download my app back there, you can actually re-watch or replay of this show, uh, literally in the Luxury Live app. Um, and uh, you can get financing at Elliot's Luxury. You can get financing on Poshmark right now on my closet. So if I run this and, you know, you're not ready to buy it right now, you can get financing in my Poshmark closet, for real. Uh, you can get financing in my Poshmark closet where they split up the payments for you. Uh, and as long as you're in good standing with the company that gives you the financing, you can split these payments up. Uh, there are lots and lots of people that would come into my show and, you know, they antagonize the people that come in here because they're buying a, such a beautiful bag, how to expend so much money, blah, blah, blah. It's like, because they're splitting the payments up or maybe they've made a way to be able to afford the things. And so these are luxuries, uh, things that people work hard for. And so if you've closed that new deal or you just got that badass job that you want, this is something that you treat yourself for. So uh, these are the things to keep in mind when we look at these items. You know, it's not every day that somebody gets to come in here and buy one of these. Uh, and so... Anyway, it's just, these are the things that y'all should consider, especially moving into 2024, y'all. Chanel's prices are only going up. <laughs> uh, the prices on, on Chanel are is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Uh, and so the pre-owned market, uh, first of all, this bag is made, in my opinion, allegedly, a lot better than the ones that you're going to see that are new, okay? I, I know that they've got rainbows and all this other shit all over them and stuff. But uh, this is what's going to stand the test of time, not the other ones. Uh, again, I like new bags. I think they're beautiful. They are. It's like, oh, that's so pretty. Oh. And then you put it in your, your case and it sits for a month and it starts peeling. Or the edge coating starts coming off. Or the zippers don't work anymore. This right here is 15, 20 years old. And it still functions the way that it should. Are you going to find that with every Chanel product? Of course not, right? Allegedly. Uh, but if you go, I just tempt you, if you go to new Chanel and you touch and you look and you feel and you ask questions and then you start looking at vintage again, you might go with vintage. So this is the reason why I have so much confidence in selling this versus in going and buying and sourcing brand new Chanel for you and loading my Chanel shelf up with brand new stuff. Because for me, I would rather suit you with something that's old, that I can work on, that I know what it's made out of, I know what era it came from, uh, and I know how to style you. This is classic. This is a navy blue. Navy blue. I don't know if you can tell, but it's navy blue. I've got black shoes on. Blue. There's blue in my suit. I'm wearing black. Black Gucci belt. Blue. Okay? This is very nice. This is nicer than black in my mind. Blue. But this is not a first Chanel bag. This is not the first one that you buy. This is like your fifth or your sixth or, you know, like you've got plenty of purses and you just want a Chanel. But blue is going to upscale an, an outfit any more than just black, you know? Black is just classic. It's just the default, you know? But blue is so much more depth. It's got so much more... I don't think I need to expand. So if you don't get it by looking at me, then... <laughs> black is beautiful, but look, I love a navy blue bag. I Don't make me go get this navy blue Mew Mew over here and start making you look at it because... Blue is beautiful, especially with black accessories, the way that you dress it up. You're going to wear gold. Like, I'm just thinking, you know, 1980s. If you think 1980s, early 80s, early 90s, blue. Lots of navy blue. Quiet luxury, blue. That's what we were wearing. Muted, monotone, nothing vibrant, vibrant in your face. It was blues and blacks and grays and... You know, these are the things that, you know, I want to dress someone in the winter. It doesn't have to be bright colors every single day, right? Um, because sometimes we don't want that stand out. Sometimes we're tr actually trying to look shh money, okay? We're not trying to catch literally uh, everybody in the whole supermarket's attention just to go. We're trying to, 
get you to be like, ooh, who that who that B.I. is? Ooh. What was her name? Damn, did you see that? Woo! Her curves. It's all about those curves. It was the cut, honey. It wasn't the color. It was the cut. It was the silhouette of it all. Uh, so, anyway, that being said, the silhouette of it all. These are gorgeous, okay? This one is uh, a voluptuous. It has one minor flaw that is notable. There is a very, 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 very slight tear that is about that long in this upper seam up in the interior. You'd never notice it probably unless you started using it for six months and I told you. But I told you, uh, if you put an um, uh, interior uh, organizer in here, wouldn't be an issue. It is black. I did re-dye the whole thing. The whole damn thing. And I had to keep the stitching white because the stitching is an ivory white cream color. So it was a pain in the ass as you can imagine. This is the reason why you don't really see me get a lot of wild stitch. Because when you do have to redo it, you have to go around all of the stitches when you put the color around. And so, just a little bit of color. I didn't draw any trees or anything or any ponds or landscapes or mountains or sunsets or any shit like that on it. Uh, but just uh, redyed the leather as though it should. <laughs> uh, but it took a lot of time. Uh, but I, I wanted to bring it back, and I don't know about you, but I've been starting to invest a lot more into Chanel, uh, because last year I did it, and you know, bought a shitload of it, and then I just kind of got over it, and I started getting into more brands. I got into Bottega, I got into Dior, I got into Miu Miu, I got into Chloe, I got into, you know, so many other brands, and I started exploring and really getting my hands on the authentication process of Fendi, uh, because it really started to piss me off that people were were faking Fendi on Poshmark and I got scammed several times by buying Fendi on Facebook and uh, not Facebook uh, on Poshmark and so um, I started getting pissed off about it so I started buying a lot of Fendi because if somebody wanted Fendi I was like well look here's the real one I already got it authenticated you know uh, here here it is right here like look this is this is it um, same thing goes with my Chanel's you know I've bought Chanel's before where I thought they were real and for whatever reason they couldn't be authenticated sometimes it's not the seller's fault yes I said that sometimes it's not the seller's fault Yes, I said that. Sometimes it's not the seller's fault because one company, if they require to authenticate a Chanel, is something different than another company's, or company's requires for an authentication. Uh, for instance, that beautiful black uh, quilted uh, patent bag back there, that bag used to be yellow. I'll get it for you. It used to be yellow. That one back there, if you're a regular shopper of mine, used to be yellow. This one, I added black dye to to make it beautiful again because it was missing color throughout the entire bag. The entire bag was gray because it's so dried out and it was losing and lost its color because it was neglected. So I have taken this bag back from looking like, you know, a dried, uh, you know, blah, dried cow, okay, or lamb rather, uh, to a moisturized lamb that now has beautiful color throughout. If you don't believe me, go look at the photos. Um, it is gorgeous. This is a lamb skin, not a caviar. So the last one that I sold uh, for thirty two nine five uh, in this show uh, last week was a caviar. This is not a caviar. This one's handles, okay? It's been setting upright, so you can see the handles have started to take shape. It will, you know, kind of do exactly like that. Where our caviars are gonna be stiff, you have to worry about messing them up all the time. This is a lot more comfort carry. Um, in my mind, that's a lot more lax. It's a different look. It's a different texture. Just like my Dior's, you know, just like Hermes. You know, we've got Hermes with like the same Kelly bag, right? Same Kelly bags. These are listed in my closet over here. 18,000-ish different textiles cost different amounts of money. For instance, I've got a lambskin Dior bag over here. That one's $3,000. I've got a crocodile. Uh, same size, Lady Dior bag, uh, way different price tag, uh, like, like a, a, a semester of, of college tuition over there, sitting on that, uh, table over there, because it's in croc. So, and an actual croc, not croc embossed, that bag in croc, croc embossed sells for about eight grand. That one is really croc. So these are the things to consider when you come in here. If you want to buy something, you know, the textile, the size, the color, the silhouette, what is it that you'd like to buy? They're expensive. So if you're going to buy something, I want you to keep it. I want you to use it. I want you to like it. And if you don't like it, I still want you to keep it and use it and like it. Right? Learn to like it. Uh, because it was expensive. And if not, you're just wasting and burning the shit out of your money. 
So, like, if you have the money to do that, that's great. But um, I would prefer that you make informed decisions. So you come back to me and you don't regret your decisions, okay? Um, because this one uh, is, I think, twenty nine nine five, uh, which you could go out and go, you could go out and go get one cheaper somewhere else, and you just go right ahead if you want to do that. Uh, but you're not going to have me that's gone through the bag, re dyed the bag, and you're not probably not going to have a communication with the person after the sale that can refurb the bag for you, rehab the bag for you, and fix the bag for you after you've carried it, uh, you know, say for the first three months, and you decide you want to come back and buy another bag. Because ultimately, that's my goal, y'all, is to get y'all to come back and come back and to come back and to come back and to come back and to come back. Thank you, Miss Bunky Bill. Uh, and to come back again. Uh, because, you know, without y'all coming back, I can't uh, actually keep my doors in business. It's great to, you know, find a new customer every day. But there's two shoulders uh, on most of you. And most of y'all have a very big uh, bag appetite. Uh, and so... This one is gorgeous though. Look at this, look at the condition of it. I just added this one. So, anyway, but the handles are a lot less rigid. They're a lot more soft. It's just a different vibe <laughs> in my mind. Now this one, the wild stitch, okay? Now I sold this one, I believe to Bunkyville in white and navy blue. I, sh I hope she still has that purse. I, I hope she still has that purse. Uh, that was a badass purse. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> hopefully she still has that purse. Oh no, I got, girl, I got that away. Uh, but that, that one was beautiful. It was white with navy blue stitching. And this one is black with a cream stitching. So uh, if you have any interest in it, go take a look at it. Like I said, I did re-dye this leather because it was, it was terrible. Um, look at the corners. So I did to this what you would probably have to do to a used bag that you might buy somewhere else for the same price. That's the thing to consider. So I've already gone through this bag for you and cleaned out the leftover donuts and powdered donuts and the french fries and the dog hair and you know somebody else's will to live. I vacated them and then cleaned up after them. I just did that to one of my rental houses too. Thank God. It should be ready literally in the, in the next couple of days. The repairman was like, uh, do, do, do you, is this your dining room table? I was like, no, that's not mine. I've, I've never seen that one before. He's like, okay, well, I'll haul it to the street. I'm like, All right, dude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, I've never seen it before. I was going to offer it to him, but it looked pretty nice. It did actually look pretty nice. I don't know why they left it. Uh, maybe they couldn't get it out. Who knows? Uh, this one is gorgeous. It does match my shoes. Okay, this is a patent leather. This is a black patent leather. This is what I was telling you about. This one used to be yellow. Used to be yellow. This has an entropy certificate with it yellow. And it has a real, authentic a real, real authentication with it after it's been painted. That's why this is legal to sell. Because I didn't change anything about the bag except for the color. Because it's still the same silhouette, it's still being used in the same way it was, and it wasn't defaced. Because this bag comes in black. That's the only reason why I can legally sell this. Now, if you bought this for me and you wanted to write Angelica on the front of it because your name is Angelica, you can do that. I will do that for you. Um, that modification would cost about $900 and it will be done after you buy this. I mail it to you. We have tracking that you received it. You will sign a contract stating that the bag is yours and you rightfully purchased it and that you're altering it and that you will not sell it afterwards. That is how legal modifications like that are done. Because if you decide that you want to sell this with Angelica on the front of it, 
I can come after you for selling the bag that you completely ruined by putting Angelica on it. Does that make sense to you? These are the things that you need to realize when you start customizing stuff and when you start buying stuff that is customized. It can be done. It's not illegal to customize your items. It's illegal to sell them if they are defaced. So basically, if you chop the handles off this thing and you, you know, made a bunch of earrings out of this thing, that would be illegal. So anyway. It's just very important to mention, y'all. You can do certain things to real items and still keep them authentic. Now, the reason why I painted that one was because it had a couple of flaws on the back of it and I wanted a black one. So, there it is. All right, now, let's see here. Um... Let's go down and see what else I can find over here. I've talked about a bunch of things and didn't tag them, but that doesn't really bother me. Okay, uh, what else do I have in mind? Oh, I already pulled that up, the Speedy, and talked about it. I guess I could pull that up here. here hold on. Uh, it's not different when it's LV, uh, when it has initials. Like, if it's monogrammed by Louis Vuitton, then that's different. Anything that a manufacturer does when you buy it is completely different, obviously. But Louis Vuitton and authenticators generally can tell if Louis Vuitton monogrammed it or someone else did. <laughs> so if you decide to go uh, monogram it afterwards, not by Louis Vuitton, I mean, technically, I mean, it's not really defacing it. You just put your initials on it, so I wouldn't see an issue. But if you drew your initials big as the bag, then yeah, I could see that being an issue. That's the reason why I'm saying, y'all, basically, you just shouldn't. Just don't, unless you know what you're doing. Consult a professional. That's what you should do. Consult a professional. And ultimately, y'all, most folks, wealthy people don't buy a bag trying to get their money back out of it. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. People don't buy these thinking they're going to get what they paid for. If that is you, you should just swipe out. Because <laughs> that's not going to happen. Um, and so you're here to buy a beautiful bag and consume. That's what you're here for. We're not here to save money. We're here to burn money on beautiful bags. So if your intentions are to buy one of these and think you're going to make a shitload of money off of it, I mean, it's possible but probably not gonna happen. So that is in the last of people's mind when they buy a bag. Just saying. Now this one, gorgeous. Chevron style V Kanban ball. It does have a aftermarket chain. It is removable. I would carry her like this. Follow shoe. Uh, very nice. She does have feet, I think. Two, four of them on her own. Mm. Very nice. Now, this one's been with me for a couple moments. If you're in the app, it's just above. You should be able to look at the photos. And then if you're down, down there, then I will put it down below for sale for like one, two, three, four, five if you want. Uh, so if you're, if you're serious about it, just watch your fingers. Because uh, I don't want you to buy anything uh, that you, you don't want to if you if you don't want to because the moment you buy it It's it's kind of binding. So just FYI Okay, I'm gonna put it up there and just do one two three four five. Okay, ready? One two three four and five. I'm gonna take it off uh, If you're serious about buying this bag you can make me an offer on either app that I'm on right now or any 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 um, Platform that I'm on I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook right now, and I'm in my group uh, my private group right now. So this, after we get done, will then be published and then put on my app. So if you're just now joining, hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Justin with Elliot's Luxury, and this is my app, uh, Luxury Live app, and we're in the Luxury Live studio. That's why I've been saying that literally for almost a year now, is that we're in the Luxury Live studio, is because Luxury Live is my app. So hi, welcome. 
Uh, and uh, if you'd like to shop with us, be either before the show, after the show, 24 hours a day, etc. Uh, you can find me here at my Poshmark closet, or you can find me at elliotsluxury.com, or you can find me on my app. So uh, you can get financing on the app. You can also get financing on Poshmark. So whichever your decision is, I'm not here to tell you where to buy per se, but I am here to show you what you can spend your money on. So uh, you could spend your money on this here. Mmm. Yeah, jittery fingers, right? Hello. But again, j this one is a, a chevron. In my mind, I feel like if I didn't like the color on this one, I would paint it. This would be so pretty if it was black. But then we're taking it to black, right? It's like, ugh. How about a navy blue? Navy blue would be prettier. This would be a good candidate to go to navy blue. Just saying. What else do I have in my closet in there? And we've got so much new stuff that it's like kind of, re it's kind of overwhelming even for me at this point. And is there anybody in uh, Poshmark that has any, any requests on anything? I assume if you wanted to buy something, you probably would buy it and go in the closet and make an offer. Any waist bags? No, I don't think so. No waist bags. No. Nothing like that right now. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to put this beautiful Dior bag up there. Let y'all look at her real quick. If I can find her. Is she in there? No, she's not. Here, let's put her in there real quickly. This is the Dior that I was talking about. The one that I've got in Lambscan and the one that I've got in Crocodile. I'll put them both up there so you can take a look at them. Here's the Crocodile one. This one comes with an entropy certificate as well. The handles are insanely good condition. The whole bag is in really great shape. If you've never actually touched and smelt alligator, uh, alligator is very durable. It's also water resistant. Um, you could get away with getting this wet for in the rain for just a couple of seconds. Uh, lambskin also generally you could get away with it for a little while. Uh, whereas my Hermes bags back there, you don't want to get those wet. Uh, that would be an issue uh, for discoloration and that would definitely hinder the value. Um, so they come with rain jackets and uh, rain coats literally from Hermes. So that if you come from a situation where you're getting from out of the rain and then coming in from the inside, what have you, they actually have raincoats that come with them. Uh, both the Fendi's do too, the peekaboos that are back there. Uh, the peekaboos are in the same kind of situation or same kind of ele elevated level uh, as the Kelly bags. So, and so is this. I mean, this is probably the rarest, most expensive bag in here. Uh, next to my Fendi. So if we have an eye for the rare, uh, these would be your rarer bags. Um, and then this one would be the Crocodile uh, Lady Duel bag. She's in really, really great shape. It's insane, actually, in the shape that she's in. Now, I did, I think I did a little bit of removal from just normal dirt on this one. But when I got done with it, it looks so good. And this one, it has, you know, uh, it's sturdy. It has a certain amount of sturdiness to it. Where my lambskin does not. The lambskin is much more malleable it's more probably more comfortable to use where this one is definitely more formal it's just like my return uh hermes kelly over here versus the cellier uh, one is more form-fitting one is looked at as though it's more elegante uh but in, in all actuality i mean they're just both just as beautiful it's just a matter of taste so if you've got this one i feel like this would be like your iconic Lady Dior bag. I've got this coming also in a a patent 
uh, with a spell out monogram Dior all over it. Black patent spell out monogram Dior all over it. Same size. Um, I also have three Alma BBs coming in different colorways. One, the monogram, I think a green one, and then a blue one that are Verni. And then I've got my, you know, one that's already over there that you'll have had almost a year to buy that haven't haven't bought it yet. I'm just waiting for that girl that appreciates finer things uh, with the budget uh, for that one over there. Uh, my mom really wants that one though, um, but she's she's very pretty. Like I got a shitload of money in that one too, uh, or it would already be gone. I'm sure <laughs> uh, because it's like new. Um, so if you're interested in that bag and you're a serious buyer for a Louis Vuitton Alma BB in a glitter crimson red with gold hardware with little to no wear at all, do you see this face? Little to no wear at all? She's $2,995 in my closet. Unless you want to go look at one that's $1,000 less with shit all over it shit in the interior, cracked hardware, and effed up. Because that's how much they go for. They're very expensive, even though they're small. So you have to adjust your mentality that small things in the bag world, that does not equate to cheap. That just equates to more expensive. It's harder to make a small bag than it is to make a great big large bag. Um, and so these are the things that we have to think about. It's also the things I have to teach you while you're here luxury shopping, buying things that you don't really need, uh, that things are expensive, especially in winter. Um, so this here would be a lamb skin. Ooh. It's in great shape. Really great shape. That's why I have my price where my price is. Uh, my price is just over $3,000. So if you want one that's in really, really good shape, this one is in very, very good condition. I can attest to that. Do you see this face? It's in great condition. Red interior. If you're serious. So if you're a serious buyer today, it's seriously in really great shape. Uh, I'll give you a really quick up show close show if you're serious go and look at the closet and make me an offer because it is gorgeous is the black dior that's coming gold or so um i think it's gold i don't really do a silver hardware with my doors why do we have somebody that's asking I have one right there, a black one that's patent with silver hardware though. And then I've got another one over here with silver hardware. And then another one over here with silver hardware. We have to have silver hardware. Are we silver hardware girl? Please tell me we don't match our jewelry with our hardware. Do we do that? Not one of those. Please no. Uh, this is a silver hardware medium. So, if you're interested, uh, yeah, there are those. Yeah, there are those. They'd be like, oh, no, I don't wear any. I don't, I don't wear mixed textiles. I'm just like, girl, let's branch out a little bit. Bran branch out. Bran branch out a little bit. Because they're not really looking that close at you. They're really not. If you really think somebody's taking long enough to look at you, be like, Is she got silver on with gold earrings? Uh-uh. You can't trust her. We got to put her on our prayer list. Hell no. And she got a dirty car, too. With mixed brand. Were those Michelins with Yokohama? Uh-uh. We de demoting her ass. She needs a secretary job. She can't be trusted. Can't be trusted. Because people do that shit to me. I'm serious. I was, I, I was, I'm giving you a hard time, kind of. But people do do that to me. I'll pick out, like, the perfect bag for them. They'll be like, no, it's silver hardware. I'm just like, you know, I didn't ask you. You know? I said, this is the bag that I have for you. Right here. It'll change your life. Wear it. Just shh. And go carry it for a week. 
and tell me that you like gold hardware. Okay? That's what I learned. I was just like, look, just, look, it'll change your life. I promise. Here you go. I promise. Take it. Just take it. Just reach out and take, touch. Reach out and touch faith. Uh, it, seriously, just reach out, reach out and touch it. You'll love it. Um, this one is really pretty, though. It does have silver hardware. And I have another one over here with silver hardware. Um, it's just Dior don't really like silver hardware. They were like, nah, we're not doing hardware. Okay. What? You're trying to create your... <laughs> the people that are on my app are talking about how they got to remodel their houses to fit all my bags in their house. Okay. These are personal life goals that y'all need to work forward to right here. Um, they could give two shits about the match in their hardware, honey. They, oh, they over here talking about how they're going to build on their houses uh, to fit my bags in their house over here. Um, uh, look, these are the problems that, that some of my, my customers have in here. And they're like, look, we're going to have to, my she shed ain't big enough no more. Um, this is silver hardware as well. I don't know if you see this. This one right here, this is a slap your mama, uh, Dior right here. Uh, slap your mama Dior. And she's silver hardware. I don't know if she'll meet your uh, requirements or not, but she met mine. I would, I would be okay styling on her with you okay as long as you would take very good care of her and don't be wearing dark colors don't be wearing dark colors with her either i will come back and, and i will repo her look if i get a picture look i will start asking your co-workers i will look, look how is she how is she fending with her did she set her sideways is she setting her up did she let her sit out in the car like i'm gonna need to know we need a health report uh because if i find out that y'all are abusing my bags i will I will come and uh, do a repossession. I'll be like, knock, knock. I'm going to need to see the custody of my bags. Uh, this one is gorgeous, though. It's an ivory color, if you're interested. Uh, she does have silver hardware. Uh, but look at those handles. Uh, yes, I do ask. Sometimes I'll be like, look, I'm going to need some pictures of you with your bags so you can prove that you still have them in your custody. I be getting angry when people even sell their bags. I be like, especially if it's like one of my buyers, I'd be like, look, you can't sell that uh, with, especially without telling me. I don't think so. Uh, that's not cool. Uh, look, especially when I'd be getting like all personal with them and stuff. If I had to care clean the, you know, the makeup or the dog shit or whatever was in them, the sausage biscuit or whatever was in them, hell, we we're very close to each other at that point. You know, I've seen her in 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 ways she's never been seen before. Okay. A rotisserie chicken, you name it. I mean, it happens. Okay, so in the app, I'm going to put the lamb skin up there if you're interested. Uh, in, uh, let's see, uh, in the uh, Poshmark closet, uh, I'm going to put it up for sale and just give you one, two, three, four, five if you're interested. Uh, it's $34.59. If you really, really wanted that bag, I have had someone give me an offer for $2,900. And um, allegedly, this is what had happened. What happened was that her fingers uh, were not communicating with her brain, uh, that her brain had not computed, communicated with her husband. And so this is what had happened was, she made an offer for twenty eight nine nine. I accepted. And then like five minutes later, if I, if I know what happened was she probably ran across the house, the wood floor, or like did a cartwheel in the hallway. And her husband said, hey, uh, what's so what's so interesting? What's going on over here? Why are you doing a cartwheel? Like you trying to trying to keep a baby in or something? What's what's going on over here? Heartburn's going on? What's what we're trying to get it come out the other end? What 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 is going on over here? And then all of a sudden there was a um and she had to retract her bid because her husband found out that she was shopping. Uh do any of y'all has to have husbands around here? Uh, my husband is uh, 30 more minutes, he'll be, be completely distracted from all of my purchases. Uh, literally 30 more minutes. And I look for the time that I know when he will be distracted at all times. Most of the time. Uh, you know, I ask him, you know, when, when are you going to go to work? Uh, normally it's, when are you going to go to the Trabahar? Uh, and it's, you know, it's because he thinks that, you know, I, I, I you know, I, I might want to know when he's going to work. Well, when it's really, I just want to distract him so that he can't control my buying habits. Um, and so if you have one of those very annoying people in your life sometimes that kind of control your budget sometimes. They'd be like, you don't need that. And it's like, listen here, I'll tell you what you need. Uh, you need to go clean the dishes. 
uh, because this bag here and I are getting really close together over here. And there's dishes and trash that needs to be taken out. And, uh, you know, it, it, you might get some attention, you know, um, you know, if I had more energy and there was more hours in the day. Uh, but the COVID happened and everything. And I just need you to go uh, so I can spend money now. Thank you. Do any of y'all feel like that? Was y'all locked in, were you locked in your house with your family for like three years? This is a real thing. People aren't talking about this right now. Did you have a stressful situation like that in your household too? I know you did. I know you did. You don't have to be secret. <laughs> you don't have to be secret right here. I know you did. I know you had that problem too. Uh, so normally I, I try to find out when my husband's going to go to work so he doesn't control my spending habits. Because for three years... I had to refrain from buying purses and other things that he might see delivered by the Amazon truck because he was there home. So finally now things have gotten back on, you know, track. <laughs> so just FYI, it's very normal. Yeah, I, I think it's very normal too. You watched the Tiger King and had a blast. Oh, really? Tiger King? Tiger King? Oh my God, you watched that? Oh my Lord, have mercy. You are ridiculous. When did you watch that? During COVID? Is that what you're talking about? Look, I have to put, I have to close these windows because it's starting to get dark outside. And, and basically, if you drive past this, you see a giant uh, pink logo and a bunch of lights in here. And it probably looks like I'm, probably looks like I'm showing more than bags, baby, okay, from away down there at the farm, okay? The horses are probably like, what in the hell is that human doing down there, okay? Not where I see a human up there, and he ain't got no hay in his hand, there ain't no horses in there, I don't know what the hell's going on, but I see a human up there in that box up there with the lights, so, uh, thank God my husband doesn't know luxury brands. Oh my God, your husband doesn't know luxury brands? That is amazing. Where do I get one of those at? Shh, really? Do you, like, go to the bathroom and watch? Like, where do you watch at? Because, you know, we would just be talking about all kinds of brands and shit over here. She's like, girl, I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the shower, honey. I'm, I gotta go, honey. I'm going to work. Yes, the horses do know me. Rebecca's over here saying on the app that the, re the horses talk to me. They do. They do talk to me. Well, they don't talk to me. I talk to them. Normally, I scream at them. It's been a while, though. It's been so cold. They haven't really been here, so... But yes, uh, I, I scream and yell at the at the, the horses and give them heart attacks. I like to give them a little of a, sh a stutter. I can't help it. It's fun though. Like I like to scream out the window at them. They'll be out there frolicking and I'm all like, "Hi, baby!" And I, every now and again, you'll they'll like turn back like, "Who the hell is there? Somebody cat calling us?" No, honey, I'm 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 horse calling you. Uh, well, that works. They look good. Oh, that sounds like your husband. Oh, is that how is that how he talks to you? <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. Uh oh, so somebody asked about furs. Uh, I don't have any of these uh like listed in my tray. I don't think on my uh on my app. But that's the Dior that I was just uh, showing you. If you're on my app, uh, I was gonna show you these furs. My husband, okay, so this is what my husband did. Oh my Lord, fur down. Uh, this is what my husband did. My husband said, did you know that fur is in? And I kind of looked at him and I said, what? What do you mean fur is in? He said, fur, fur is in. Yeah, all, all the people I see on Instagram are wearing furs these days. And I just thought, okay. Um. Well, how do you know this? He said, well, all the people on Instagram are wearing furs. And I'm thinking, who? Like, of course they're wearing furs. Uh, duh. Uh, but apparently, like, the young people are starting to wear furs or something. I'm just like, what? what do you mean they discovered their uh, grandma's fur that's been hanging in the front closet for the last 35 years that's got dry rot on the inside of it? Uh, yes. I tried to sell those for, like, 15 years of my career of doing estate sales. Do you know how many fur jackets that I have? A shitload of them. Uh, in all different shapes, sizes, colors, and everything. They're in a heated and cooled climate controlled building, literally like two and a half hours from here. Uh, I have furs. I have furs, lots of furs. 
in all shape sizes. Uh, but that's a whole other shape. A whole, that's a whole other story. And they went out. They came in and went out. And, you know, and then we went through this whole thing of we don't, you know, do animals or anything like that. And, and you know, I don't, I don't personally go out and, and do these things to animals. But, you know, somebody bought this a long while ago. And it is real fur. Uh, and this is a goat. Uh, this is a goat. Poor goat. It's sad. I'm sure his milk or her milk or somebody's milk took tasted very nice. And the, you know, uh, I'm sure they made a great dinner. Uh, but this is a purse now. So let's focus on the purse. Um, if this was your goat, then you, you know, you probably enjoyed it. Uh, this is very nice. If you're interested, it is a Fendi. It is a goat. This is uh, just a normal calf hair that's been dyed to look a cheetah. Um, no, bah, it's a bag. Exactly. Uh, this one is a mink. Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me put this goat up. I can't lift the goat and the cow and the mink all at the same time. And then I have some other fur over here that is a shatter, honey. Oh, my Lord. This bag is a shatter if I've ever seen one. It's ridiculous, actually. It sheds so much. Oh, okay. This is the mink. This one does not shed. This one's gorgeous. It's silver hardware for those silver hardware girls. Uh, it is silver hardware for those silver hardware girls, okay? Uh, this is the mink. Uh, somebody messaged me a little while ago. Uh, I had a mink celeria bag, or salaria bag, uh, depending on how you like to say it. Uh, this is a salaria bag as well, with a sterling, sterling silver hardware and sterling silver uh, plate in the inside. This one is a mink. I've got this uh, same little colorway. Yeah, she looks good with my scarf. Uh, same little colorway in two different other colors. Same size. They're in leather. There's a, a blush and a pink one. Uh, both of them have sterling silver hardware. All of these are in my closet. So if you are interested in any of these. Uh, oh, did you? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, just have your uh, bag sent to your work. As long as your coworkers don't have sticky fingers. That would be my luck. I, I would be like, they would be like, oh, I got a package for you and it didn't have anything in it. Um, it didn't, it didn't have anything in it, but there's your package. Have a good day. Um, thanks uh, for the new bag. Uh, let's see. Now this one, uh, I don't, I don't think I've had this, like maybe, I don't know. I think I bought this one. Oh, I think I've had this since. I think I've had this since we've been here. I think I got this like right after we sold this beautiful Celeraria bag. And the lady that bought that or some lady, somebody messaged me on that listing and was like, when you ever get one of those in, please get me no. I've looked, I can't find them. Good luck. I try to find things obviously y'all when I, I sell them because if one thing sells, then I like to replace it to the collection, obviously. Uh, but you know, there are instances where it, you just can't find another one. And if you can, I can't find it in a condition where I would want to sell it, or I can't find it in a condition where I can repair it to where I would like to resell it. So these are the problems with, you, you know, used items and pre-owned items. And some of the reasons why, I, you know, my items cost a lot more than those that, you know, are other in other shows or in any, any other streams rather is because the colors, the conditions, uh, the time and effort it takes to clean them and source them, etc., etc. So, anyway. Okay, so that being said. Um, you said you don't sound like that. Oh, there's a Dior. Okay, is this Dior in here? Hmm. Yeah, just tell uh, tell your man that all of it was a $3 start. It's, it actually just cost $3. As long as they never see the, the bill statements, then maybe they'll never know. You know? Okay, I'm putting this one up for you if you like. This one is a small version of a much larger version of purse as well. Uh, this is... They make this in black and white and cream and taupe and... Red in the large size. This is the smaller size. Uh, dual handles. Uh, when it's the larger size, this is more of a business bag. When it's the smaller, it's just a casual everyday bag, I think. Uh, this one is like new. Uh, original color, original paint job, original everything. No 
wear on the hardware, no fading, no nothing. It is uh, really, really gorgeous. I had the same bag in white, and the white one sold the very first day, but it sold it, ever. And it had a lot of wear, and it sold for $2,000, literally. Like that. Someone came in and said, mine's. Uh, this one is still here. Uh, this one was from the same owner. This one is in basically brand new shape. Corners look great. Um, it's, I think, $3,994. Uh, you could definitely make me an offer on this bag. Um, you know, I would take, you know, probably anything around $2,200, 22000 somewhere around in there if you're serious about it. Um, especially if you're a regular. So these are things to consider, y'all. Uh, when you're a regular, I can, you know, kind of do a little bit. A little bit better for you. Um, but uh, that's pretty much the lowest I would go on that one because it's in such great shape. We really do have a lot of very good Chanelis. Uh, that one is up above on the app. Uh, that's going to be the last one that I'm going to put on the app uh, because we've been on the app now for almost an hour and a half which is amazing. Uh, I hope you enjoy the show over here. And if you are watching over here, I'm not going to end just yet, but if you are watching over here and you weren't able to join the show, I've been going for an hour and a half now. And the replay, it'll take about 30 minutes to upload, but you'll be able to watch the entire show and participate and watch the whole show in entirety and other past shows that I've done in January on my app which is Luxury Live app right here. It's free to download in the Google Play Android store. Uh, you can look it up at luxurylive.com. It'll lead you to the app if you're an Apple user. Uh, the app does work better on Apple devices. Uh, if you're interested, you can participate and watch past shows. You can come back here on Poshmark and buy if you'd like. Again, it's not my place to tell you where to spend your money, just to show you what you can, show, you can spend your money on. So that being said, uh, thank you for watching the app now. Uh, and I'm going to continue on Poshmark. I'm going to end here so that the video can start saving and then be pushed out to the app. So anyway, I'm going to end. So love you, everybody that was able to.